Hi you guys, it's Karina. So I am back with another video tutorial, tutorial, <laughs> video tutorial for you guys on my template 17. Um, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this rose. So she already does, template 17 already has a video tutorial here on my YouTube channel on a different rose style. So similar, but just a different little tech, different technique actually showing you guys how to make the other rows the other rows i think it's a little bit more maybe time consuming um but again you can find that video here on my youtube it was from many many years ago um but i've been working with her again template 17 so i kind of wanted to make an easier rose i guess it's super simple you guys um i just do want to put a disclaimer though with template 17 so when i released her i want to say seven years ago maybe no maybe around seven years ago um her intentions was never meant to be a rose i just needed a petal that was more rounder um i had my <clears throat> excuse me my template too and the petals were round but they were more ovalish i guess you would say um and more narrow and i needed something more wider and rounder so that's how template 17 came about messing around with the petals I was like I think I can make a rose um, and I did so the only disclaimer with this one is that you're only gonna be able to make a certain size rose this isn't meant to be making multiple size roses okay I just wanted to throw that out there because really her intention really was never to be meant to be a rose I just messed around with it and <laughs> <laughs> made a rose and decided to share that with you guys on how to make it okay so i don't want you thinking that if you get this template you're going to make be able to make different sizes now if you do get the svg and you're a little bit tech savvy definitely if you mess around with the petals and shrink them um then yes you would be able to make different sizes okay so with template 17 comes with 15 petals and then three inner rose petals okay um and we are going to be using all these three to for us for us to make this rose now um with this template 17 now it does come pdf and svg svg meaning that you can have your cutting machine cut it out for you um but the only thing when i released her i was a little apprehensive in releasing her svg only because of these three inner petals to make your rosebud Yes, you can. You have your SV or your cr Cricut design. I'm saying Cricut just because maybe that's what I use to cut it out. But the only thing, there are going to be extra steps for you where you are going to have to hand cut these inner rosebud petals. Okay, so I just want to put that a disclaimer out there that you are going to have to do the old trace and cut um, in order to get the the rosebud. Okay, so let me show you which petals you're going to need. Okay, so the petals you're going to need, you're going to use the first three inner rosebud petals, and then I have my marked here in purple. So you are not going to need the first four, so put this, put those to the side. So you're going to need the fifth, the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth petals, okay? So those are the petals that you're going to need. Let me get these out of the way. So I will show you in a bit how to trace and cut these. If you haven't worked with these, I'll show you how you use these. Um, as for these, you're going to need five, 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 four, four, and four. Okay, so four, 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 five, five, five. Obviously, if you want to add more outer layers, you certainly can. Just remember, these video tutorials are for guidance, but after that, if you want to add more petals, you certainly can, and especially if you want to make it bigger. Again, with this template, you're only going to be making roughly smaller roses. Well, not smaller. I would just say medium-sized roses. So if you're looking for extra large, um, this template <laughs> will not be for you rose wise um just because roughly she is around actually let me get my measuring tape so here she is 
just so you can see so yeah around 12 inches is roughly um where she's going to be but again if you have the svg and you're and you kind of know how to resize petals which i do have video tutorials you guys on my youtube channel on resizing svg um, templates um you certainly then can make this larger or smaller okay i don't I just, I, how can I say this? I don't want you to get your hopes high and when you purchase this template and thinking, oh, I can make smaller or larger ones. No, um, the only templates are gonna be these. But again, if you're an SVG expert and you can kind of um, manipulate the sizing of the petals and you certainly can make smaller roses or larger roses, okay? And maybe that video that I do have available for you on YouTube, which on, is on my template 49 and my template 50, which are little mini roses, I do show you how to make those larger and smaller. Pretty much follow the same technique if you wanna do that with this um, template as well. All right, let me get my paper and um, I'm gonna show you what we have to do with these. Okay, so you are going to need an eight and a half by 11 um, card stock. So I am using 65 pound weight. This is from Michaels. I wanna say this is their blush color, the lighter pink color. So we're gonna fold it in half and then fold it in half again. Until you have this right here, okay? You're going to grab your template you're going to need a pencil. So we are, see this corner right here? You're going to go to a corner, but you wanna make sure you're going to a corner that is closed, not the one that is open because it's not going to work, okay? Place your template. And trace. So then this is what you should have. So now grab your scissors. So this is the part where I'm telling you Cricut Design Space is not gonna be able to do this for you. And if you decide to use your cutting machine, you're going to have to, this step requires hand cutting. You're just going to follow. Okay, so there's our and now you're just going to open her up and this is what you should have so remember there are three of them that I showed you so you're going to trace all three of them okay so there's the other one so these are going to be your inner rows this is what's going to help us make that inner rose bud petal so you should have three as for the order this is gonna be your first one, second one, and third one. So pretty much, I mean, you can see the size, how one's smaller, medium, larger, in that order, first, second, third, okay? So this is our first one. So grab this one. You are going to need something to curl with. Now, I like to give my petals a curl inward. like this. Now grab two opposite ends, crease, just like this. Now pinch, intertwine them or interlock. You are going to make a cone. Do you see that? Grab your glue gun, add some glue to the side, Glue one side and glue the other. So this is what you should have, something like this. So now this is going to be wrapped around like this, okay? So I like to add a little bit of glue to one side first. Kind of hold for a couple of seconds so you know that it's really glued on there and then wrap 
the other one. Now, up to you spacing wise, how you wanna leave this spacing. Obviously, the tighter you go in, the tighter it's going to be. And then we are going to repeat by wrapping this around as well. I'm just gonna do one side first. I'm going to wrap her around. Hold for a couple of seconds. Repeat the other side and wrap around. So this is what you should have. Just giving it a rub so it sticks on there. So that's the first part. So here is the second one prepped the same way where we are curling this these inward. So now we're going to add glue to the center. And now we're going to place her in the center here. just like this. This is what you should have. So now we're gonna repeat the same thing going around. We are going to be wrapping these around. So I'm gonna add some glue here to the side. Apologies if you hear my children, they're right across. Um, they're playing in their room, my two younger boys. So now we're gonna do this one. and then just wait. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to this side. I'm gonna do the same thing. Add a bit of glue. I'm gonna wrap this one around. Now I'm gonna add glue to this side and wrap her around. Now this is going to take practice, you guys. When I first started working with this particular inner rose center, um, it's definitely a little bit more trickier. If you own my template nine, the, this my template nine is very similar with assembling the inner rose bud. Okay, so now I just did both of them because now we're getting to the point where we're able to do both sides at once. Now I use the first three, but say maybe you want it more fuller, you definitely, definitely can double it. So double the first one, double the second one, double the third one. So then that way you have six of them and it's gonna be a lot more fuller. All right, so we're done with that second one. So now we're gonna do the same thing to the third one. So I'm just gonna do this one off camera and I'll be right back when we're done with this one. All right, you guys, so I am on to my last one. So it's pretty much the same thing what we did with that second one before where you just go around in the circle and gluing them around. And there you go. So like I mentioned before, if you definitely wanted to add more of the inner petals, you could by just doubling um, on the other ones if you wanted this more wider. Okay, you guys, so now that this, is, this step is done, now we need our round petals. Okay, so we're gonna need the first smallest two. And remember I said we needed four of each because we are going to glue those to the inner rosebud. So here is the first four. So let me show you how to prep these. Okay, you guys, so let me show you how to prep these these um, eight petals. So you are going to cut in the center, just like this. You're going to add glue, and then cross over, just like that. So you're gonna do that for both sets, okay? So remember, we needed the first smaller two and we needed four of each. So go ahead and get your first four. You're gonna add glue to the bottom. And now we are going to, so I like to start where kind of see like this triangular shape. You're gonna glue your petal down just like this. Add a little bit of glue to the sides. 
and then pinch the sides. And just watch those fingers because we are working with hot glue. Okay, we will be repeating the same step to the other side. Add a glue, opposite side, glue, add glue to the sides, and pinch, just like this. And then just give it a rubbing, just so we know that it's sticking. So now we have two left. Repeat by adding glue. Go down here, repeat. Add glue to the sides. Ah, I didn't hold that down on the bottom. And then pitch. And then we're gonna do that to the last one. Glue. Just like this. So as you can see, definitely not hard. Definitely takes patience. And if you're not able to get it the first time, just keep on trying. I always tell everyone roses are not easy. They definitely take time and patience and practice. Definitely practice. Okay, so we are done with that first part. So now we are on to our last four. And we're going to be repeating the same thing, you guys. So let me just show you the first one and then I'll be back once this is done. So now go back to the original. Go right behind her. Okay, I'll show you what the back looks like. And then you're going to repeat by adding glue to the sides, just like that, and pinch and hold, okay? And just rub it. And you definitely wanna make sure that you're rubbing it in because I always find that the inner rose buds, because of the separation of, do you see, um, sometimes the glue can't pull back. So you want to make sure that you are rubbing it in and that it's gluing so it doesn't separate. Okay, so there you go. So now you're going to repeat. You're going to add glue and we're going to go to the next side and then repeat going opposite side. So let me finish that up and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, now that our inner rosebud is done, we're going to put that to the side. And now we're gonna work on our outer petals, okay? So for our outer petals, remember we needed five, 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 and then the last one we are going to need four. So let me go get a, go ahead and get the five of the largest. Okay, so let me show you how to prep these first five. You're gonna wanna give these a curl, slightly back, nothing too Nothing too crazy. Cut in the center. Oh, I hear a child coming. Oh, maybe they're going to their room. And then there you go. This is what we want for the first five. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add a small dot of glue to one of the corners. So this should be your right corner. And we are just going to glue these around in a circle. Sorry if you hear my little ones. <laughs> They're so loud. <laughs> They're playing in the room. And then just like this, add glue. And then this is what we should have somewhat of a circle in the center. It's gonna be a little funky, but as long as you have that kind of circle shape in the center. 
Okay, so now that we have this done, we need to cover up this gap right here. So you just need to cut a circle out that is large enough to cover that up. And add glue around. And just cover it up just like that. So the next petal size, we also need five and you are going to prep her the same way where, we're, uh, where <laughs> we are going to give these a curl back. Okay. And then cut in the center, glue, just like that. So now we are going to glue these. So now go in between the first layer. Just like this. So I only curl the first two layers. And then after this, we're not going to curl them anymore. This is just an option if you do or you don't. I'll show you towards the end one that I did not curl any of the petals. And then voila, we are done with the second layer. Okay, so the next layer, we also need five. Um, but again, remember this time I said we are not going to curl these. We are just going to prep them the same way we did the first smaller two, just like this. So this time, I am going to add a little bit of dot only on the left side. So facing me, this is my left. And repeat, we are going to go in between the petals. So we're on to our last one and we are tucking this one in. Oh, pause, child in. Okay, so we are done with the third layer. So we are on to our last petal size um, and we do need four of these only. And we are going to prep them the same way as we did the last one where we're going to cut in the center, add glue, and then fold over like that okay two more you definitely can cut these all four at the same time if you're wondering what glue gun I am using I am using the sure bonder mini detailed glue gun Okay, so now this is how we're gonna glue these. Add glue. So I am gonna do one here. Doesn't matter where you place it, but what your goal is here is if you place this one here, you're going to go opposite of that one. So glue the other one across from it. So then grab the next one. So now see how we have this gap here. You're gonna place that one right here. So then grab your last one and you are gonna glue it across from this one over here. Okay, so two, two, just like that. So now you are going to get your rose center and then you are going to place it. So. I don't know if you can see, but right here we have this little corner gap, whatever you want to call it. So that's where we're going to place the rosebud just like that. So then you're just going to add glue. Place her in the center. Lift her up just so on the bottom your palm is pushing up. Sorry, my kids are home and they keep interrupting. Okay, 
and there you go you guys you're all done just again make sure that you're kind of pressing down because back here you can feel the hot glue so you kind of want to push push so then that way it's adhering to the rosebud and voila you are all done all right you guys and i am all done with the rose so this is the rose that i made with you guys right here this is the one i had showed you now remember i told you you don't necessarily have to curl the petals back do you know how the first two layers i curled them back well this is what it would look like if it's not curled back okay if you just keep it straight just wanted to show you the difference personally i like to give them a little curl back the first two layers just to give it kind of a different look but again that's that is up to you, okay? Um, so I hope you found that helpful. Again, this is my template 17. And if you have any questions regarding this template or any of my the other templates, you can email me my email, arielisedesigns at gmail.com or my Etsy. Um, and again, refer to my YouTube channel for other video tutorials on this particular template. I did post two different um, flower styles you can make with this particular template, template 17. And if you wanna see how I made the other rose style, if you're kind of intrigued what the other rose looks like, again, you can find that video tutorial here as well on my YouTube channel. I believe it's a two part video. Um, for that one for the template 17 rows and I will chat with you guys later. Bye